All righty, everybody. This is Michelle Ambergy. And today we are going to do a beautiful chakra clearing and balancing using the violet flame of limitless transmutation. And we're going to also be allowing for spirit to bring through whatever else needs to be brought through for this meditation. So as always, we start with our beautiful Merkaba prayer, and then we'll go straight into the meditation. So everybody just take a nice deep breath, breathing in and breathing out. Just allow yourself to begin to relax, giving yourself permission to let go of any worries, any concerns. And take another nice deep breath, breathing in and breathing out, oh, giving yourself permission to just let go of the past day, maybe the past week, maybe even the last month, maybe even the last year. And just giving yourself permission to relax. And you'll notice that as you do, that your body truly begins to relax. And we take one more nice deep breath, breathing in, breathing out, oh. and just feeling that beautiful relaxation. And we begin with our prayer. Beloved beings of love and light, sacred and holy ones be with us. We only ever invite into our life the purest energies, entities, and consciousness of true love and God's eternal light. We call upon our guides and angels of love and light. And we call upon our master guides, Christ consciousness, and our mighty I am presence. And holy ones, we ask that you fill and surround us with your love and with your light. Beloved ones, bless us, guide us, heal us and help us to be our true and authentic self. Help us to fulfill our purpose, to be happy, healthy, and whole. We call upon all of the angelic realms of love and light. And we call upon the 12th dimensional angelic realms of love and light as well. And we invite in the 12th dimensional Christed avatars. And holy ones, we ask that you be with us, guide us and protect us and show us the way to our greatest happiness. We call upon the great ascended masters, holy ones of such wisdom and grace. Beloved ones, guide us with your wisdom and bless us with your grace. We call upon our dolphin and whale brothers and sisters, and we call upon our star families of love and light. We call upon our Atlantean and Lemurian families of light. We call upon our benevolent ancestors, those who have reached a consciousness of mercy, grace, and wisdom, and are in alignment with divine source. We call upon all of the benevolent beings of light, the gods and goddesses, saints and holy ones. And beloved ones, share with us the wisdom of the ages and help us to be wise. Beloveds, we call upon the Melchizedekian councils of light. Holy ones, help us to transmute all lower energies. Teach us how to manifest a life of abundance and joy. And beloveds, we ask that you wrap the violet flame of limitless transmutation in, through, and as us to disintegrate all lower discordant energies. Realign us with the original divine matrixes of divine perfection, with our Kathara Merkaba living light grid, the tree of eternal life, and the eternal flower of life, and heal align, and activate our 12th dimensional DNA. We now call upon prime creator, our highest self, our divine oversoul, and the Kathara living light grid, as well as the tree of eternal life and the eternal flower of light. And we ask that these matrices be returned to us 
in their perfected form and function to complete our God human matrix of perfection. We call upon Mother God and Father God. We call upon Mother Earth and Father Sky to embrace us as their own child with love and honor, peace and respect. We call upon universal mind, source, the all that is, whatever words we use to call upon the eternal loving presence that runs in through and as all of life. And we ask that you pour your love over us. Show us the meaning of our life and the meaning of all life. Show us the way to our greatest self and help us to be masters over our lives. Please heal our bodies, our emotions, our mind. Heal our spirit and soul and our multidimensional selves so that we are in this lifetime as a whole and healthy being. We ask that all that we ask for ourselves also be offered to all of life for their blessing as it is appropriate and for the highest good. Beloved ones, we thank you for these blessings, knowing all that we ask for is already given. And we thank you. We now ask for an archangelic crystalline Merkaba to be put around each and every person listening to this now. We also ask that it be put around our homes and our property. And we ask that Archangel Metatron hold the heavenly point. We call upon Archangel Sandalphon to hold the earthly point. And we call upon Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Uriel to join with Metatron to hold the star tetrahedron and the divine masculine energies. And we call upon Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Haniel, and Archangel Shamuel to join with Sandalphon to hold the earth tetrahedron and the divine feminine energies. We ask that the sacred Merkaba now be put into their perfect right spin. We ask that each of these Merkabas now be filled with divine white light, with the golden light of the Christ, with the 12th dimensional platinum ray of divine purity, with the violet flame of limitless transmutation, and the cobalt blue light of Archangel Michael's protection. And we now call upon Cosmic Mother in all of her many forms to place the sphere of beautiful pink light of unconditional love around each of these Merkabas so that all that comes to us is love and all that goes to us is love and that we be bathed in that love presence. Beloveds, we thank you for all of the many blessings that we have received, all that we're receiving now, and all that are yet to come. And we just say, from the deepest part of our heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So we just allow ourselves to be bathed in the beautiful light, the beautiful presence that we've called upon in our opening prayer. And we understand that all that we ask for, all that we call upon the angels and the guides and the masters are not only around us, but are also within us. And so we begin this meditation this meditation of the violet light of limitless transmutation by taking a moment to acknowledge the, the spiritual rule that as above, so below, as within, so without, and so without, as within. All that we call upon, all that we perceive, all of this love that we call upon not only comes to us from outside, but wells up from within. And so I invite each of you as we move into this 
this beautiful meditation as we move into this experience together, that you be aware that all that we do is coming through as a part of you and who you are. And so we take a nice deep breath, breathing in and breathing out. And once again, we call upon the Melchizedekian councils of light who are the master alchemists and the keepers of the violet flame of limitless transmutation. We also call upon beloved Saint Germain because he also is one of the keepers of this violet flame. This violet flame transmutes, transforms, and transcends all lower energies. It is the pure presence of the divine, of God, of that eternal loving presence. It is the presence that Moses saw in the burning bush. And when he asked, who are you? It responded, I am. This is where we come into an understanding that speaking the words I am is powerful. And everything that follows I am is manifested because you're using the power of the word of God. I am that I am. And so today, in order to invoke, invite, and allow to well up within us, we speak the violet light decree, and then we'll move in to the next part of the, the meditation. So just repeat after me. You can say it out loud or just simply in your mind. Take a nice deep breath. Release your breath. Repeat after me. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity goddess desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity I desire. I am that I am. So take another nice deep breath, breathing in, breathing out. And I invite you to open your imagination. The imagination is the tool that spirit that the unseen world of love and light, angels and guides communicate with you. It's the tool, it's the portal. Your imagination is part of your connection to God, to goddess, to creator. And so allow your imagination to open. Allow yourself to be part of the creative process that we're doing here today. And so I invite you, to open that imagination wide. And we begin by imagining, seeing, feeling, simply knowing a beautiful beam of brilliant white divine light coming down and around us. This beautiful white light comes down from the very heart of Mother, Father, God. It is the divine presence, the divine wholeness. It is divine perfection. And it comes to us in the love of our creators. And we feel this beautiful light as it flows down over our heads and shoulders, down over our arms, our chest, our back, our hips, legs, all the way down into Mother Earth. And this beautiful beam of light can be as big as you want it. Typically, it naturally goes about three feet to the right, three feet out to the left, three feet out in front of you, three feet out behind you. And take a moment and feel that white light behind you. 
You don't want to forget the back part. <laughs> and just feel, feel that presence. Know that presence to be there. You'll notice that your body continues to relax deeper and deeper as this white light surrounds you because it is the natural state, this God state, this, this divine presence is the natural state of our bodies, of our emotions, of our minds, of our hearts, of our soul. And so the body is able to relax, it's able to let go. We know that as we move forward in the relaxing and releasing of energies, any of the spaces that are created by these releasings, by this letting go, that they will instantly be filled in with this beautiful divine white light at its very highest frequency. We just take a moment, we just feel that as we acknowledge the power and presence, it becomes more present and more powerful. And you may begin to feel that presence more powerfully now. So I invite you to take one more nice deep breath, breathing in. As you release your breath, being aware of this beautiful beam of white light around you. And then we open up the imagination even wider. And I invite you to begin to see, to feel, and to know another beam coming down the center of this white beam. But this new beam is deep, dark purple. It is violet. It is the deep, dark purple of the violet flame of limitless transmutation. I invite you to notice that this purple light is moving. It is flickering like a living flame, which is what the divine flame is. As you become more aware of it, you begin to see all of the different shades of purple. And you may even be seeing sparkling silver or platinum light. This beautiful violet beam that flows down the center of your beam of white light is moving, is dancing. And it now begins to move down into the top of your head in the place that is the crown chakra. Your crown chakra is the connecting point between your finite physical self and your infinite divine self. And so we allow this violet flame to move into our crown chakras and we invite it to transmute, transform, and transcend any lower energies that may be blocking or limiting us to having complete and total divine connection. We allow the sacred and powerful violet light to cleanse, clear, and purify our crown chakras. You may begin to feel tingling or pressure at the top of your head as this beautiful light works its magical alchemy. And then this beautiful violet light, as it continues to work in the crown chakra, now flows down into the third eye chakra, right at the brow, between the eyebrows and just up a little bit, right there at the forehead. You also have a back chakra directly at the back of the head. All of the chakras have a front and a back. And so feel this violet light as it descends down into your third eye chakra and see how it feels, fills the front third eye and the back third eye with beautiful dancing violet light. We call upon this violet light to cleanse, clear, and balance our third eye chakras, clearing away any veils of illusion, of distortion, 
clearing away our inner knowing, our inner seeing, so that we might know and understand and see clearly. We allow our violet flame within the third eye to awaken our pineal gland, to cleanse and clear and decalcify the pineal gland, and to activate the crystalline structures within the pineal gland to receive more divine messages, more divine inspiration more divine encouragement. And as the pineal gland is activated, we feel that third eye chakra really come online. Now that it's purified. Now it as everything has been transmuted, transformed, and transcended. Lifting our inner wisdom, our inner knowing. And we just feel that violet flame working in the crown and the third eye. And we feel as it begins to flow downward again to the throat chakra, filling the throat chakra front and back. The back throat chakra is located just behind the, the front throat chakra, but up a little bit, a little bit closer to the base of the skull and the nervous system, the center of the nervous system there at the base of the skull. And we invite this violet flame of limitless transmutation to fill our throat chakra front and back and to activate the beauty and the peace and the harmony of our nervous system, allowing our nervous system to relax, to let go, and begin to move more with the ebb and flow of our ever-changing beingness. The throat chakra is also related to us speaking our truth, us living our life to the fullest. Oftentimes, we get energies trapped in the throat chakra because we have not said something we wish we had. Or we've said something and we wish we hadn't. Sometimes we squelch our own wisdom. We quiet our own knowing. And so we invite the violet flame of limitless transmutation to transmute, transform, and transcend all of the energies that are trapped in the throat chakra. We ask that they be transmuted, transformed, and transcended. Transcended means being lifted in its highest form and function. And as we feel this violet light working within our throats, you may begin to notice that your throat is softening. You may notice that your, the tension around your throat, around your shoulders, maybe even your upper back begins to relax and let go. This clearing releases your voice, releases your truth, and releases the energy that is needed to connect head and heart, because the throat is the gateway between the head and the heart. The heart and the head are meant to work together. They are both intuitive centers. <laughs> and so we need the throat chakra to be open and flowing. And so we feel that opening now. And as this beautiful violet light works, still in the crown, in the third eye, in the throat. It now flows down into your heart chakra and it fills this love center front and back with this beautiful violet light of limitless transmutation. We invite this beautiful light to transmute, transform and transcend 
any lower energies we may be holding in our heart. We release into this light any heartbreak, any unforgiveness, any disappointment. We release our expectations of others into this violet flame, freeing us and them, freeing ourselves and freeing them to be fully who we truly are at our divine nature. We allow ourselves to release judgment and intolerance. And we release these into the violet flame as well. And as the violet flame does its work, it transmutes, transforms and transcends everything that is not love, pure, unconditional, agape love, divine love. Allowing ourselves to awaken within us more self-love as well allowing us to love ourselves, to truly love all that we are, the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. It's all divine. And as we become aware of energies that we are not wanting in our life anymore, we simply release it into the violet light. Bitterness disappointment, anger. We let go of it all right now, right here, freeing our heart to open even wider, to experience more love, more joy, more happiness, more abundance of all good things, freeing that love divine energy up so that the, this love energy can heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our emotions, heal our spirit, our soul, and even our multidimensional beingness. We feel as our chest and upper back relax and let go. We feel how our heart expands with more love. And you may even feel yourself smiling, just allowing all of that love and joy to flood into your heart, flood into your body, flood into all that you are. And then this beautiful dancing, sparkling violet light flows down into the solar plexus chakra in the upper part of the belly. The solar plexus is related to the mental body, the mind, to belief systems, to thinking patterns. And so we invite this violet flame of its limitless transmutation to transmute, transform, and transcend any thinking patterns, any mental patterns, any belief systems, any snags or glitches or obstacles or limitations that we may be holding within our solar plexus or within the mental body that is keeping us from experiencing our, our ultimate good, our ultimate wisdom, releasing old patterns that stand in the way of new awarenesses releasing old belief systems that stand in the way of our full awakening, our full God as an essence within. As we give our solar plexus permission to let go of anything that is no longer in service to who you are as a powerful, sacred, spiritual being. This beautiful violet flame of limitless transmutation, transmutation transmutes, transforms, and transcends all of those. And you feel your breath coming deeper, 
you feel your belly beginning to soften as the mental body is able to relax and let go. Our sweet, beloved little ego oftentimes is the one who tries to maintain mastery over the mind. And we invite our ego, who so many thinks we have to get rid of. So many people think it's something to be get, gotten rid of. It's not. Our ego is so important to our beingness, to our wholeness. And so we invite ego to become a part of our transformation, to become a part of our awakening, to awaken itself, to love, to the fact that it's safe. Ego, you are safe. You are loved. You are free to express all of the God that you are. The ego is part of the eternal loving presence. And as we release all of these energies from the mental body, the ego gets to relax. No longer has to be the gatekeeper. No longer has to be the bouncer. It no longer needs to be on high alert looking for the threats and dangers. Because when we operate from the energy of love, those things don't exist. That operation in that energy of agape, of unconditional love, is the awakening. It is that fifth dimensional energy that we all talk about, hear about. It's unconditional love. It's agape. And so we welcome our egos into agape. <laughs> Allowing the egoic mind to melt into love. And we just say, thank you, sweet ego. And then we feel this violet flame of limitless transmutation as it flows down into the navel chakra, into the belly into the seat and the center of emotions, of creation, of life. And we invite this violet flame of limitless transmutation to transmute, transform, and transcend all energies within our navel chakra that are not love and joy. We ask this violet flame to transmute, transform, and transcend any of energy that isn't ours, that belongs to other people that we have taken on. We are trained, kind of brainwashed in a way, to feel responsible for other people's experiences, emotions, activities, thoughts. <laughs> we release all of that back to the rightful owners. We ask that all that energy be blessed and healed and balanced and to help whomever, whatever that is that we're releasing, reach their highest state of love and happiness. And then it frees up our navel center, our creative center, to welcome in and to receive more love, more peace, more happiness. You may begin to notice that your belly relaxes even deeper. And I invite you to take a nice deep breath, breathing in and breathing out. And notice how your breath is becoming deeper and deeper as the chakras are cleared, cleansed, and balanced. And then we allow this beautiful violet flame to continue its sacred flow down into the root chakra. The root chakra is related to the physical realm, to what we manifest in our physical experience, to our physical bodies, to all of physicality. It's also related to how we relate how we have a relationship 
with other physicality, meaning relationships with people, relationships with places, relationships with things. And we invite this violet flame of limitless transmutation to transmute, transform, and transcend any energies within the root chakra that are not in alignment with our divine blueprint. Our divine blueprint is a blueprint. It's a matrix of perfection, of humanity's perfection in all ways that we were created with and goes with us from incarnation to incarnation. And we call upon the clearing of everything that is not in alignment with that divine blueprint. And that divine blueprint is the 15th dimensional living tree of life. It is that sacred blueprint for life. The root chakra is also the foundation on which we build our lives, on which we manifest our lives. And so, beloveds, we call upon this violet flame of limitless transmutation to transmute, transform, and transcend anything in our root chakra that keeps our foundation from being perfectly solid and strong. We release any of other people's energies, any distorted sexual or sensual energies. We release any energies in the physicality that we've experienced that keeps us from understanding that we are God present in this form. We allow for the transmutation, transformation, and transcendence of our root chakra to be in alignment with the divine blueprint of perfection, of divine perfected creation. Because the root chakra is also related to our physical body, we invite this violet flame to expand out into every single cell within our physical body. Just take a moment and use this powerful imagination that you have, that you are, to picture every cell within your body filled with this violet light. And we call upon the violet light to transmute, transform, transcend any energies within every cell of our body that is not perfect divine health, perfect divine alignment to our sacred blueprint and in alignment with the God, God as creator that we are. We are the creator and we are the creation. We are the God that has created this body, this life, this world that we live in. But we also are the body, the life, the world, simultaneously. We are creating and living the creation. And so we call upon this violet light. We call upon the alchemical wisdom of this violet light to straighten up, to transmute, transform, and transcend anything that's going on in our physical body that's not in alignment with this perfection with which we were created. And we take that a step deeper and we invite this violet light to move into our atoms and the space between the atoms, into our mitochondria, into the energy of our light body to heal our mitochondria and to help it to begin to expand and grow and multiply at this level of the violet flame, at this level of God presence. We invite this violet flame of limitless transmutation all the way into our DNA. And we ask that the encoding within our DNA be realigned, be realigned with our perfected divine blueprint. 
we invite the activation of the 12 strands of DNA and the proper alignment from the original source of every strand and all of the coding and encoding in our DNA. We ask for the transmutation, transmutation, transformation, and transcendence of any energy placed within our DNA that is discordant, diseased, misaligned, misappropriated, mistreated. We release it all. And in that transcendence, in that lifting to the very highest status possible, we also activate the internal, eternal God self to help us move into the fifth dimension and even higher. And we call upon that 12th dimensional platinum ray into the activity of our DNA for as long as it is appropriate and helpful to protect our DNA from any outside influences that are not for our highest good. And as we feel this beautiful activation, the reawakening of our DNA, we feel our entire body beginning to heal, to become more youthful, to be filled with more vitality, energy, joy, excitement, passion. We feel the physical body again as it is a beautiful God creation. We allow our inner world, our inner beingness, our bodies, our lives to be a direct reflection of the heavenly God, God is creator energy that created us. And we call for that perfected activation now. And as we feel that within our bodies, as we feel the healing, we again invite this violet flame to move out around our bodies, going from the deep within, expanding out around our bodies into our aura, into our etheric sheath, into our emotional bodies, our physical bodies, our mental bodies, our spiritual bodies, into our multidimensional bodies. We feel this violet flame transmute, transform, and transcend anything in our aura, in our multi-dimension, uh, multi-dimensionality. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's beautiful. We just ask that it cleanse and clear. I call upon the sacred sword of the true Archangel Michael to cut all cords that are connected to us to release us from other people's energies. And these energies sometimes aren't even related to people. They could be places. They could be things. And we just ask for Archangel Michael to cut all of these cords. And we ask that love, peace, healing, light be sent through all of these cords to whomever, whatever is at the other end, that it be used by their highest good, if appropriate. And we release these cords. We release these things that become a drain on our energy sometimes. I call upon Archangel Raphael to put your sacred emerald green light wherever these cords are cut, wherever it is, so that those cuts be healed and sealed. We call upon this violet flame to fill any portal crack, hole, wormholes, any other type of vehicle or opening that has been created in our field with or without our knowledge. We ask that these be healed, that they be transmuted, transformed, and transcended in the sacred violet light. 
And then we ask that a beautiful golden filter be put over all of this energy so that all of these openings, all of these spaces are sealed in the Christ light. And then I call upon everything to be filled with the presence of God, God as creator. With agape, true love. With Adonai. With Ayah Asher Ayah. Giving us a strong, powerful, vibrant energy field, aura around us. And we just take a moment and feel the purity. And we repeat again, I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity goddess desires. I am a being of violet fire. And I am the purity I desire. So it is said. So it is done. And we take a moment and allow ourselves to be in this space with this beautiful beam of white light, with this sacred holy violet flame of limitless transmutation, with the beautiful Merkaba around us. And we just feel this presence. And in order to ground this energy, I invite you to take a nice deep breath. And as you release that breath, allow all of this work that we did begin to flow down into Mother Earth. Now we keep this sacred Merkaba with us all the time. We keep this beam of white light all the time. We invite the violet flame to be moving in through and as our chakra and energy system to cleanse and clear to purify and protect us. But we allow excess energy to flow down into Mother Earth, anchoring this in Mother Earth so that we might have these high states of awareness, of beingness, to be able to operate in a very high frequency in a very grounded way. That this will help us to be present in our life, in our bodies, and in our world, yet remain elevated, transcendent. And we just take this moment and say, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the sacred beings who welled up from within our own wisdom. <laughs> we thank ourselves for being all that we call upon. And we just put our hands over our hearts and we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And amen, amen, and amen. And I invite you now that if you wish to remain in this beautiful meditative state, that you do so, knowing that you will come back to an awakened state when it is proper and appropriate for you. If you wish to drift off to sleep, go ahead and do that now. And if you wish to awaken, I invite you to take a nice deep breath, breathing in, breathing out. And begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. I invite you to begin to be aware of the room around you. I invite you to be aware of your body in this room. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And take another nice deep breath, breathing in. 
breathing out. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes.